Okay, so you pick one. Doesn't like matter. This. Okay, okay. put it in your mouth, head down, and then we just go back and forth so you can hit the hardest. I, I try and hit you? Yeah, on the top of the head, it's the best of three. Okay, okay. I go first? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay, okay. well, yeah, you'll, you'll get better. Okay, okay. ready? Head yep. down. Oh, freak! Really? <laughs> I've practiced, come on. Oh my Again. gosh. Okay, <laughs> not bad. You'll get better. Did it hurt? Uh, yeah, bad. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, dude. No, one. <laughs> best of three, but not three at once. I haven't practiced. <laughs> you need some practice. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Oh! oh. I'm done. Hi, it's Richie in the Sonic Dad Studios to bring you another preview of the project that will be coming out next week. Since spring is in the air, I thought it would be fun to do another outdoor project. Since we've never done a kite as a Sonic Dad project, I thought that would be a really fun subject. But I didn't want to do a full-size kite. I thought it would be fun to try building a micro kite. So I started with a couple of different designs and experimented with different materials. This is one of the first prototypes that I put together. It's about seven inches tall. Its frame is made from plastic coffee stir sticks. The uh, fabric for the kite is just a uh, plastic tablecloth and just some tape to attach it. So with a classic uh, shape like this, I uh, knew I needed a, a suitable tail for it. Played around with some different ideas. Ended up using gift wrap ribbon. It's lightweight. Uh, inexpensive and comes in colors that uh, will allow you to coordinate it with the color of your kite. Um, also, I needed to find some string that would work well since this is such a small kite. The string had to be very lightweight. I found out that cotton thread just isn't strong enough, so I ended up um, using upholstery thread. It's made from nylon and uh, very lightweight, but it's, it's really strong and that worked out really well. So, here is an example of one of the finished uh, projects here. I made this out of red and blue tablecloth and some coordinating blue color on the tail. Here is another solid color kite that I built, uh, red and green with a yellow tail. The way this project works is uh, you'll download a template. You can print this on a full sheet label or you can print it on regular paper, but uh, you cut it out and attach it to a piece of cardboard or your template, and I've cut these out. Once you have the template, you take your tablecloth plastic, lay the template on it, trace around it with a pen, and then you cut out the shapes. What's uh, fun about this design, of course you can, you can get tablecloths in lots of different solid colors, but you can also get them with some patterns printed on them, which makes it kind of fun. Here's a couple of examples. And what's even, uh, I think, a little more fun, for a bit more money, you can buy a themed tablecloth for birthday parties. This one is cars, and I've got a Batman tablecloth here, and here's a Hello Kitty. So what you do with that is lay the tablecloth out. You pick the graphic that you want on your kite, and then, of course, uh, kind of center the template over it the way you want the graphic uh, to show up on your kite, trace around it. And I've got a couple of examples here. This is... Uh, from a planes tablecloth. It's dusty crop hopper. I found that uh, if you're gonna put a theme on your kite, um, it's best to use a clear string mount so you can see the graphic better. And I took this clear plastic from actually a Ziploc sandwich bag and that works really well. So that's dusty crop hopper. And I built another one here. This is from a Monsters Inc. tablecloth. Of course, that's Sully on there. And uh, chose kind of a silver ribbon to, to go with that kite. So there are a couple of examples. So that's project number 60, the Sonic Micro Kite. It's going to be a skill level three in about a half hour build. It's made from plastic coffee stirs, plastic tablecloth, 
some gift wrap ribbon and upholstery thread. So these kites fly, fly best in uh, 7 to 10 mile an hour wind. If you fly in higher wind than that, you'll need to put a longer tail on it. They get a little hyper and may start to do some spins and things like that. But that will calm down with a longer tail. So I hope you enjoy this project. I had a lot of fun putting it together. If you like what we do, please comment below. Love to hear what you think. Also, uh, subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook. We always appreciate your support. So until next time, I'm Richie with SonicDad.com. Now it's your turn to go make something cool. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you the guitar. <laughs> what chord was that? That was pretty good. I actually you like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel or click here to go to our website. Thank you.